Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video where we'll be tying a very common streamer pattern, the muddler minnow. For this, I'm using a size 8 long shank streamer hook and some white thread. Start off by laying down the thread base all the way to a point opposite the barb of the hook. For the tail, grab two turkey feathers from each wing and cut out two strips of even widths and secure to the hook. Cut out the excesses and wrap some thread to tidy up. For the ribbing, secure some gold wire to the hook and leave that hanging for now. For the body, we'll be using some flat gold mylar tinsel. Secure to the hook and begin wrapping towards the tail of the fly. Once you get to the tail, Take more touching wraps forward and at the three-quarter waypoint, cut out the excess and cover up with a few thread wraps. Now grab the gold wire and wrap forward in the opposite direction you wrap the mylar tinsel. This time, taking spaced out wraps, finish off at the same point and snip off the excess. For the underwing of the fly, I have some squirrel tail and I'll cut out a tiny bunch from it. Grab the hair by the tips and use your fingers or a tiny comb to take out any loose fibers. This will make it easier to stack the hair. Now place your hair in the stacker and stack. Take out the stacked hair and secure to the hook, making sure it's a bit shorter than the tail. Cut out the excess and wrap some thread over the snipped ends to tidy up. I'll now tie in the wing using some turkey strips just like I did for the tail. Align that with the squirrel hair and cut out the excess. If you're enjoying the video so far, consider subscribing as I have more videos lined up that you won't want to miss. For the collar of the fly, cut out a generous amount of deer hair and take out fur for easier stacking. Place the hair in the stacker and stack. Grab the well-stacked hair and secure to the side using two loose wraps. Let go off the hair and take tighter wraps. You will notice the hair spread out after the tight wraps. Cut out a similar bunch of hair and secure to the opposite side. Take two loose wraps and then take tighter wraps. Now the deer hair should be evenly spread around the hook forming the collar. I'll cut out some of the remaining hair to make it easier to tie in the head. Shaving off the hair at this stage isn't necessary but just a personal preference. I'll then push back the remaining hair to create space to tie in the head of the fly. For the head, cut out a larger bunch of hair and take out the loose fibers for easier stacking. Grab the well-stacked hair and place it on the hook with the tips facing towards the tail. Secure using two loose wraps and then take tighter wraps. Continue taking thread wraps forward, making sure not to trap any deer hair in the process. Since I don't have a hair packer at the moment, I'll use my fingers to push back the deer hair to create a more compact head. Once you get to the eye of the hook, take a few thread wraps and then whip finish and cut out the thread. Now let's give the head some shape by shaving off the deer hair. You can shave off the hair using a sharp pair of scissors like I'm doing here, or you can use a sharp blade, whichever is easier for you.
Once a good cone-shaped head is formed, I'll light a match and burn off the cone-shaped head for a more natural look. And that's the final look of the Muddler Minnow. Thanks for sticking around. See you in the next one.